Well, what is up guys, Thaddeus here. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's video, we're actually be talking about a brand new Facebook feature that came out very, 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 very recently, literally just yesterday. Um, that actually is, uh, I mean, there's, there's, there's some backlash to it, but basically it allows you guys to see what ads everyone else is running, okay? Um, and for you dropshippers out there, for everyone you know trying to dropship, the basis of dropshipping, right, is like you're not reinventing the wheel. You're actually gonna like look at competitors, look what's selling, and now you can look at their ads and see which ones they're running to actually get an idea of what is working for them, okay? So what I mean by that is, actually I'm just gonna show you guys in a very quick screen share right here, so. All right guys, so I'm small now on the screen and we're on Facebook. So the page run right now is Nike, and the, the way to go about doing this, guys, is you simply go down here to info and ads, okay, you click that, you know, load up and start telling you about the page. And then now you can literally see, and this works on mobile too, um, every single ad that they're running, okay? Now, right here is you're seeing ads that Nike's gonna be playing in the selected location. So you can actually see kind of just where they're, basically where they're, just, where they're displaying the ads in what different locations. Because again, a lot of these bigger corporations like Nike and stuff, they have obviously a bunch of different ad sets running for different geographical locations, okay? But if we were to do something, say, a lot smaller, right? So again, if you were trying to find a competitor or if you knew your competition already, knew what store they were and literally found their Facebook page, right? So for example, let's go to my very first, uh, my very, very first dropshipping store, okay? Right here, again, there's no ads running on it, but again, we'd find the store, the competitor, go over to it and click info and ads, now you'd see, but this one, since there's no ads running, it'll literally tell you that there's no ads running right here or that there's no ads running that actually apply to you, okay? So if they're not running worldwide targeting or if they're just simply not targeting the United States, um, which is where I live, you won't you won't see any ads, okay, guys? So like how, how does that actually basically impact you guys? Because before, right, when you're starting dropshipping, when you, 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 know, you try and find a product, right, you make your site, you find your product, you get your social media stuff set up, and usually there's two ways to go about, you know, starting, right? You, you start with influencer ads, Okay, you go from there and can drive traffic, build up you know, your pixel data and start scaling with Facebook ads. Or you can go right into Facebook ads with cold traffic, do a bunch of view content ads, scale from there, but look like audiences and start from that. And basically the whole time, right, is you're using either your previous experience or kind of just split testing basically what ad copy works, what imagery works, all this kind of stuff, right? And so now... Um, with this update, again, I, I don't know if Facebook's going to keep this. They, they simply updated this, right? So in their, in their little press conference or little like news article, right? They're saying they want to be transparent because of all the security stuff that they've been in and that they got in trouble for, right? So again, I don't know if this is going to stay forever. I'm assuming it will. Um, but again, they said they want to be transparent. So that's why they're showing you all this information, which is good for us because now we can use the information to make more money. So basically... Right, instead of having to either just go right into cold traffic and start testing a bunch of different ads and ad copy, um, basically just finding out, you know, hey, what image is converting more, what image gets more click throughs, um, just stuff like that. Now we can go to your competitor, right? If you already know someone who's selling the exact same product, see their ads and then copy them. Okay, again, you can't see targeting, you can't see any of that stuff. I'm not saying like directly rip their ad copy and their imagery because obviously like some of their imagery might be their own content and it's copywriting, so get, don't do that. Um, but you can see what's working for them and you can emulate that, okay? So you can follow that strategy, follow what's working for them and then you know, obviously try and scale up um, through your own through your through <laughs> through your own methods okay guys so basically right the gist of it is that Facebook has a new feature that allows you guys to see every single store's ads okay and the, the way that you I want you guys to like try try and apply this right is first of all you you don't you, you obviously want to have some sort of product in mind, okay? Mm -hmm. Obviously, if you're, if you're thinking about just starting dropshipping, if you're brand new to dropshipping, which a lot of you guys are, it's like 60% of the audience that usually watch my videos is fairly new um, to the industry, right? When you're deciding where to go, right? If you have an industry you want to get into, like fashion, all right? So let's go check out like Fashion Nova, all right? They're a very, very huge brand that actually did get started by dropshipping, right? So that's one to look like. So we'll go here, click Info and Ads, right, to actually see what we can do, and now we can see all their ads that they're running for the fashion. Because again, guys, all my stores, um, especially when I first started, right, now I have a few um, outside of the fashion industry, but they, I got started in the fashion industry. So that's basically what I was doing. Now, I don't know why it's being a little laggy, but again, this is one ad that pops up right off the bat, right? So I'm in the US, this is a US ad that they're running. Um, it looks like it's for female, the female audience, right, which is the most, or all their clothing. Um, Again, so this is one you can see the exact ad copy that they're using for this. 
you can see the exact images that they're using for this, kind of how they're being displayed. Now you can scroll down and see like the different types of, again, ads they're running. Okay, so some of them are just straight up shop now, shop now. Some of them are catalogs of different products um, in different, you know, in different product categories, right? So you have, you know, uh, fashion accessories, eyelashes, um, stuff like that. Again, I'm not super versed in the entire women's fashion. I did men's fashion, but hey guys, this is just to get an idea, right? You can see their price points, see what they're selling. And obviously guys, if you know Facebook ads, especially for catalog ads, ads they display the, the first image that converts the most, okay? So basically, when you're looking at these ads, right? If you see a catalog ad, you'll know that the majority of people that see this ad, this image is the one that they're clicking through on because they see this image, like this is the one that gets their attention, okay? So again, just from that, you're like, okay, this might be selling a little bit more than these eyelashes or you know this uh whatever it is romper silver romper is selling a lot more than this you know black dress okay so i mean again this is very 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 easy ways to just kind of gather data gather information from that guys but again the, the concept is super super simple guys it's a brand new feature that's basically the idea of this video but i want you guys to be able to like take that information and apply it to actually get results right so again you either either use this to get an idea of what you are thinking of selling which is one way to go about it, not the way I would you know, use this for. Um, but once you have a product idea in mind, once you have your shop set up, once you're ready to start driving traffic, right? There's kind of a new alternate route now. Instead of just going influencer ads right off the bat, instead of going Facebook cold traffic right off the bat, now you can do a lot more competitor analysis of their paid ads and paid traffic and see all the stuff they're running, okay? Because again, most of the time, guys, for other drop shipping companies, right? So again, I wouldn't compare your beginning store to you know Fashion Nova's ads because they'd probably have a bunch more ads running, okay? So if you have a competitor in the space that's also drop shipping, I would look at them, okay? Because they're, they're more likely to have, you know, uh, a similar, basically, range of what, what, they're, what they're advertising, right? So what that means is, like, they might have, you know, only 10 different ads that you can utilize and see that are working for them instead of going to Fashion Over Here and seeing, you know, 50-plus ads, okay? Those 10 will give you an idea of what's working for them. You can emulate those, okay? Like, look at their objectives, okay? Is it, you know, driving traffic to the shop? Is it just ads to get more likes to their page? Like, all this kind of stuff to see kind of the strategy they're building out, okay? Like, oh, they're doing view content. Do they just want people to like, get engagement with a certain post? Are they sending traffic to the website? All this kind of stuff that you guys can see and use um, to, to literally emulate that, okay? Because remember, guys, like, Facebook ads is like a funnel. You don't just have one ad running that you know you want all your sales to generate from. It's it's, it's a funnel, right? So the very top of that funnel right, is the most broadest, okay, broad broad end of the funnel, right? Where you're just driving cold traffic and seeing who's interested. That's why I use view content ads on the top of the funnel. Then it goes down. You build look like audiences goes down and down to actually eventually you know you take the people who viewed the content, right? Now you're targeting them with you know add to cart objective ads, okay, or purchase ads even at that point. But you build that out. You get that data. You build more look like audiences and you continue from there, guys. Okay, so that's the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. This is a really, really brand new feature that I hope you guys you know utilize. Um, once you you know once you get an idea of where you're kind of kind of going with your store, if you already have a store, I would immediately hop on this. Um, but yeah, guys, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to leave a like, leave a comment. I respond to everybody's comments, and don't forget to subscribe, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. And for those of you in the course, there is a brand new video live. So check that one out. And actually, by the time this video is live, there'll be another one. So two new videos in the course, guys. If you aren't in the course and interested, link is in the description as well as everything else. And I will see you guys in the next one. And take care. Peace. Die line, die line with the boom pal. Every week now I switch to a new style. Two twelves in the back just blew out. Everything I do end up in the news now. Yeah, be the club with a few now. There's some Hollywood girls and they do chow. I'm drunk, I'm drunk in the mood now. Two a.m.